Welcome to Business Talk Library Careers. I am your host, Chris Word, and today I'm back at it again with Terrell Turner, and we're talking about the difference between career or entrepreneurship. Good topic. Very interesting topic. I'm very excited about it. I know I say that all the time, but I'm excited about this one because I feel like there's been a lot of attention, a lot of songs, a lot of reports, a lot of articles telling people that you should be an entrepreneur. And if you're not being an entrepreneur, then I don't know what you're doing with your life. Who are you? Why are you even here? So I wanted to have this discussion so that we can really put it all on the table about the difference between entrepreneurship and having a career, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But we're only going to do it in 10 minutes. So let's go. <laughs> All right. So since we only got 10 minutes, I'm going to jump right into it. So my opinion and my perspective is that I think entrepreneurship is, is, is great. I think it is a, a amazing path. I mean, I'm an entrepreneur myself in mm -hmm. building my own business from scratch. But I think that there are probably 90% of the people who are trying to be an entrepreneur, I think they need to go get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> and the reason why is because I think, you know, when it, when it comes down to being an entrepreneur, there's certain skill sets that you're going to need. I mean, and not so much like technical skill, just, you know, with, you know, your diligence, being able to follow up with customers and being able to execute. And some of those things like people, they just they just don't have those skills developed enough mm -hmm. to have their whole livelihood depending on them being able to do it. I That's mean, a great point. And I think that they can develop those in doing a job and proving it to themselves that they can do it and then jump over into entrepreneurship. I think that's an excellent point because just saying you're an entrepreneur and starting a business is easy is building a business that's sustainable that's hard. And one, you need a skill or you need something to sell. And two, you have to have those customer service skills. You have to have that ability to... to be persistent when it's all difficult and everything is counting against you does a lot to do to become an entrepreneur or even to stay an entrepreneur it's more than just a title i agree i agree and i think it's so easy to actually you know or it's attractive to be an entrepreneur or it to say good. you're an yeah, entrepreneur it sounds real good yes yeah. <laughs> and i think you know a lot of people are you know very excited to throw the name up hey i'm a serial entrepreneur and then when you start to ask some questions like okay all right what have you really done? Like, you know, what did you do to earn a tie? I like what, mm -hmm. you know, Gary Vee talks about how, you know, anybody can call themselves an entrepreneur, but it's not like, you know, with, you know, sports, an athlete, or even a musician, like somebody says, I'm a singer. You'd be like, all right, sing something for me. Right. And we can see whether you're going to be a singer or not. But right. if you say you're an entrepreneur, I mean, because the journey does take some time. I mean, you're going to put a lot of work in before you see the ball start rolling. So there's no really quick test I can do to see, are you really an entrepreneur or not? That's a great point. That's a great point. So let's switch it to career mm -hmm. because I have a career. I'm working in my career as an accountant. I'm a controller at a company here in Charlotte, and I'm very proud of my career. But it's taken a long time to get there. There are some late nights, a lot of studying, a lot of work hours to do it. But I feel very proud with where I am. And I believe that anyone who's managing and, and moving along their career path should be proud. Is there anything wrong with that? I don't think so. Well, let me put it this way. I will say, similar to what I would say with an entrepreneur, people who go into it because of the hype of it or because someone else told them, I think, hey, that's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. I think people who stay in a career because, you know, people have told them it's safe or whatever, I think that's a bad idea. I think people that are going into it because, hey, it's part of a strategy towards a goal that they're trying to achieve. Yes. Like, yes. if you want to be the CFO of XYZ company, I think that's great. And if you're, you know, and for most people, the only way you're going to get there is a career. Mm -hmm. So I think that if the career is a means to your strategy, I think that's a great idea. And I think you brought up a great point because at the end of the day, whether you're an entrepreneur or you're having a career, it's all about your personal growth, your personal journey as to what you want to do. Whatever that goal or target is, that's what you work toward. And if it's a CFO, if it's a doctor or a chief resident or whatever that is, work toward that goal and don't let anyone shake you from it. Now, allow people to test you, ask you questions, challenge you on your thoughts. But if that's your goal, go for it 100 percent. 
I agree, and I think some people get a little, they get a little, um, I guess you say, nervous about it, or they get mm -hmm. a little worried because, you know, they're like, well, what if other people question my decision? Or, mm -hmm. And I think it's just because they're not comfortable in the decision that they have made, mm -hmm. I mean, for whatever reason. But I think, like I said, if a career works for you, if it works for you to achieve your goal, do it. I mean, I think, I tell anyone, if you're trying to be an entrepreneur because mm -hmm. you just want to make a ton of money, I'm gonna say go get a job. Mm -hmm. Because most people that are entrepreneurs, they don't really make that. I was making more money in my job than I was in building my business. Part mm -hmm. of that's because of the stage I'm in. Mm -hmm. But even when I talk to people who've been in the game for, let's say, 10, 15 years, some of those people, I was making more money at my job than mm -hmm. they've been making after 10 years of being an entrepreneur. Yes. I'll tell you this story about someone that I know who's pretty close to me. They uh, left their job to be a real estate agent. This is very passion, wanted to test it out, so left the job, became an agent. Then, as a real estate agent, you spend your weekends doing open houses, so you're in empty homes alone, waiting on people to come and show them, so you can make the contact, you can try to get the sale, or you go around knocking on doors, trying to get clients, or even going and passing out flyers. You're spending your weekend trying to get clients, meet people, get your name out there, develop a business. And then you get a sale or you get two sales and that's great. And then on January 1, it all starts over again and you, all, you have to do it all over again because not everyone's buying a, a home every year. And you're hoping to bring people in and then when they sell, they buy something else. So you have to keep that book of business constantly turning in order to really can create a consistent line of revenue. But as a, with a job or a career, you get that same salary every <laughs> every uh, month or every year and you get your weekends to yourself and it comes with benefits like there are perks to it you're giving up a little bit of freedom or a lot of bit of freedom because you're working a set amount of hours but you also have a lot of bit of bit of flexibility and stability as well so just using that as an example to highlight you can say you're an entrepreneur or a real estate agent and you have to beat the pavement to constantly create that money and bring in that revenue and get that clientele or you can have a career and say all right i'm stable but now i have to work to prove my value to this job or to my supervisor or whoever that is it's a it's interesting either way you go. There's work on both sides. It's not pretty, but you have to make that choice. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And I mean, and I think people can use a combination, you know, approach. Because I'm curious as to what your thoughts are. I mean, with okay. you know, you being an entrepreneur and then a career as well. What do you think about the combination approach of doing a little bit of both or some of both? It's it's very hard to do. It's something you have to be committed in because you're putting in your main hours of the day your eight to five nine to six whatever those hours are doing your main job doing that st that stable career and then after that is when you have the time to try to put into your entrepreneurship whatever business that is so the free hours that you have you're working again and then on the weekends where you could be relaxing you must work as well because now that's a more time to put into the entrepreneurship so it's interesting i definitely would say if you're trying to become an entrepreneur go that route because it allows you to keep stable income and then turn over whenever you meet that point but it's not an easy thing to do either and i would never say try to do both at the same time because now you're trying to answer entrepreneur emails and work emails at the same time and then you're it's, it's a lot to try to balance did i answer your point yep no no i think that's a great answer so the uh, big point here that i really wanted to make sure our listeners heard was that from my perspective having a, there's nothing wrong with having a career have your career set your goal go after it because what it also allows you to do is open doors for many people behind you you could tell your story about how you came into the career and made the growth and you can also be a mentor to other people as they're coming into the career so there's a lot of advantages not only personally but within your family within your network as to pushing that envelope of your career as far as possible but also one of your perspective on the entrepreneurship. 
Yeah, I mean, I think for the entrepreneurship, my opinion is 90% of the people out there trying to be an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. you need to go get a job. Mm -hmm. um, I even tell some entrepreneurs, it's time for you to update your resume. Wow. Because I think you, when you miss some of those critical skills that are going to be required for you to be an entrepreneur, like you said, I mean, come January 1, you know, you got to beat the pavement again. Mm -hmm. And I mean, when you're an entrepreneur, I mean, you can think about it this way. When you're in a company and you're working a job, you work in a department. Mm -hmm. When you are an entrepreneur, you are all the departments. All of them. <laughs> all so of them. If you don't understand how, you know, the all the departments work and how they work together, being an entrepreneur is going to suck for you. Yes. Because I mean, yes. you got to do it all yes. yourself. So I would say take advantage of learning on someone else's dime. Now, do quality work. Pick up the skill, learn on their dime, and that way you can learn the industry, you can learn the products, and you can learn the skills. So then when you're ready, you also have a reputation that, you can, that you've that you delivered in your professional mm -hmm. career. So you can bring that reputation to help you move faster on the entrepreneurial side. And I think that's a great point to end right there. So hope this was well i got a lot out of it i appreciate terrell bringing his insight into this and until next time this is business talk library careers thanks for tuning in to the business talk library if you like what you heard and you want to hear more be sure to click the subscribe button and follow us on all social media platforms as the business talk library